Hi, my name is Nathan Hayes and I'm a master's student on the Developmental Neuroscience and Psychopathology course run by the Faculty of Brain Sciences at UCL, the Anna Freud Centre and the Yale Child Study Centre. For my master's research, I was investigating social and non-social feedback acting as reward in mothers with and without substance use. Reward is inherent in parenting behaviours and neurobiological models suggest that reward neurocircuitry may be co-opted by addiction. I use the tool electroencephalography, or EEG, to measure mother's brain responses, focusing particularly on the feedback-related negativity, or FRN, the negative deflection in the electrical waveform, which is thought to represent motivational salience of cues. So for example, this component be, can be affected by winning or losing money. My research questions were, does substance use impact this FRN component? And does the parenting context of the feedback, i.e. the infant faces, impact the FRN? Using a simple button press choice task to choose correct balloons, with feedback either happy or sad infant faces in one task, or monetary win or loss in another, we found several interesting findings. Firstly, we found that overall, neural responses to infant faces were larger than responses to monetary feedback, potentially representing an increased saliency and motivation of infant faces from others compared to monetary feedback. Secondly, we found that while non-substance using mothers showed feedback modulation, substance using mothers did not, perhaps suggesting that mothers afflicted with substance use issues do not respond typically to reward. This particular result seemed driven by the monetary feedback condition. This study was the first of its kind to investigate this particular component in substance using mothers and represents a valuable addition to knowledge in the area of parenting and addiction. By continuing to figure out the neural mechanisms of things like response to infant cues, we hope to eventually come to a fuller understanding of neural changes associated with parenthood and how these might be impacted by various psychopathologies. Thank you.